All right. Um, I just want to start off with saying thank you, God. Uh, you know, I just got to say that while I can, I know they're doing a really terrible things to my organs, and the, and the reality of what they're involved in is just something they just want to compensate by torturing me more because I bring that in their face. You know, I think there was a psyop supposed to be created, which is failing big time. It's failing so bad. You know, and you, as a target vigil, you're going to be experiencing levels of a sad. They're going to do everything possible to make you think that this is not this governmental entity is doing that, but it's some, <laughs> it's the, a fantasy of what they want this to be. And that's why in my every videos I say the same thing all the time. That this low life are just trying to counter the reality of what they're part of. This low life are contracted, this perps that we interact with, who you hear interaction from, that we are, don't actually interact with, but they be a to can interact with you. Paint this fantasy. Matter of fact, even when they talk, well, at least in my case, what I've realized is when they talk to you via V2K, especially certain like when they when they like, it both is both male and female, but there's mostly female uh, V2K and people who interact with you via V2K. They start using these voices that you know there's not how they talk and naturally like they they are trying to sound in a menacing fierce kind of way say which we're, we're gonna kill you this and that we're watching how you die i'm like you don't talk like that you you think sounding like that makes me think that this is not a governmental entity that do that to women and children is it's been like a, a continuous way of just trying to paint this bullshit reality it's so sad and every time what i do pull up the video of this woman um, I forgot her name again, but she goes, she's in front of, um, I think it's, it's not Wendy Brown, it's, it's not Kate Barnes, what's her name again, um, I'm, I'm gonna, they, they, they kind of make it hard for me to, to, to have memories, they just kind of slowly erasing my memories, and they put it back on, I'm gonna figure out her name shortly, um, this woman, who clearly say, you know, you know she has a cousin she has a cousin and, and her cousin this is she and i said that on purpose that works at the in the department of defense and she said that her own cousin was been has been working this global network that she, you know that is according to her uh the same network that is using test subjects to develop this technology and she told her cousin that hey i'm i'm in this program it's like oh you're on your own now you know good luck And she finished up by saying, you know, we got to tell the Department of Defense, we're, we're not terrorists. Why are you doing that to, to us? Most of us are the defense is women. Right? And um, she says that and kind of clear this fantasy of these people trying to come up with this, like, now we're this we're bad, we're this femme fatale, we're, this, we're just learning how to kill, we're going to die so I was like, oh gosh. It's obviously more than just learning how to kill somebody. Uh, this is, I think killing is just perhaps the opposite. That like try to not finish, <laughs> not kill somebody. You know, for me, it's just the truth is I understand that they're really trying to figure. I'm one of so many other, one of so many test subjects, and I understand there's a purpose behind them. When they torture this woman, there's a purpose behind it. When they torture this child, there's a purpose behind this. When they torture me, there's a purpose behind this. And the purpose consists of continuously developing this, this weapon, at least. At least, I'll, um, I would call that a, a, a weapon because it's used as, as a weapon. It's technology that they're developing, but this technology is a technology that is weaponized. And so that's the purpose. The rest of the facade that you hear from these perps it's just the clowns and some of them sound like children that just they, you know they're involved in this listen one thing i'm gonna get out of this and i know for sure is it doesn't take very impressive people to be participating in this program that's for sure it is this technology is that sophisticated that children can involve themselves in that now once this child like individuals involve themselves in that or anybody who's involved in this they start coming up with, and you know the most imp unoppressive individual is going to try to make themselves sound the most fearful. 
this is both men and women. For example, me saying that, it's like, oh, you're going to get knocked out. The reason why I say that is because they want to have a mistake. They even talk in a way they, that, that they, they want to create like a mistake. So you'll find out. And they make themselves talk like that. Now, I will find out what they've been doing in regard how they're framing me. But they talk like that. In the way that it's just so at via this V2K technology, which is which is voice to score, this is how they are interacting with me. And understand, it sounds like somebody trying to create a personality when creating these interactions with me. Now the worst part is when they try to do that in front of me. That is a dangerous. It's not a dangerous game, but it's something they shouldn't be doing. Because a lot of times when they see me, I'm listening to testimonials of what they do to women and children. I listen to what, they, what they've done. They've caused mass shootings of all sorts. Listen to, to what they've, the tortures. Matter of fact, one thing they like to talk about is I'm going to be burned. And I'm like, okay, I'll be burned, but I know that you're burning women. The same woman saying that most of us are defenseless women says she's been burned. She has burn marks on her. She went to the hospital, she showed her burn marks, and like, they asked her, did you do that to yourself? They're like, who? Because we know these this entities are compromised too. Burning is something commonly heard from target individual men and women. So for me, if it's an actual fire, and I was like, okay, I'll jump in that. But I know that you guys are here burning these women. And doing so much horrible things to them. At this point, they think, and that's that's what I was saying is, the more testimonials of how they torture us to women and children, the more they want to torture me. Because these people wanted to live this fantasy of what this was about. That you pay, this is our justice. Can you imagine being involved in a program that torture children and women? And you are here saying, yeah, it's our justice. Delusion trash. And still try to be, no, this is our money. And when I say our, it's just like this avenging, Femme fatale, child protectors, group of people, oh, just cl clownness. And in every way, it's just obviously by the day what this is about. It's so childish. The, the, the psyop is childish. That's what I'm trying to say. The facade is just so childish. Who would ever subscribe to this, especially after knowing the reality of what this does? The testimonials. I myself, on TI Day 2020, says, this is killing, this is impacting men, women, and children all around the world. Then you hear women saying that, a woman from Malaysia, then you have women from all around the world speaking up. Women all over, just this, <coughs> this Japanese woman, I believe, showing her burns on her forehead, crying. Saying this is what just happened this morning. They 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 are just burning. They electrocuting my forehead. Look at my forehead. I see, this is the, this is this people involved in that saying ah just yes, sending this childlike people. Delusion of trash. So, if I ever see them in front of me, <laughs> when I see them, that's what's going in my mind. My mind. And they still try to play you know, with you. you see, in every languages. You just hear Japanese women talk about what's happening to their life. You hear this, uh, what, what, what people, like what this Australian or English woman, this Malaysian woman saying, me and my family are target individual. We got, we're getting, uh, extra, you know, this electromagnetic radiation heat on, a, on us and I will not give up till the end. When you hear this trash try to leave this fantasy, now they're going to rape you. So yes, I get raped. I'd rather get raped by that. That being involved in a program that does these things to women and then try to counter that. Create a facade. Try to maintain a facade. But tell me how I'm going to be raped. Because they try to stop me from saying that the obvious thing that they, these people are torturing the, the, the most vulnerable people. And it's said and testified in different languages. Now this trash are so low life. 
they were trying to you know to, to try to vilify me right i bring up this picture of, if you see a lot of videos on man you see a, a, a pictures of like a 13 14 year old kid because what they try to do is first of all try to make me ad- they, they try to say now what you, you pay for what you did as a kid and you're 13 14 and i'm like look at what a 13 or 14 year old look like look matter of fact what they do is like when they force me to get this nasty reaction to our children like now we're mad into you as a child when you're 13 14 and so i show the picture of what an average 13 14 year old look like it's like you retarded of course this is a st- stupidity like, can you imagine trying to make somebody's brain a brain of a child that young but the most disgusting thing is how they try to do these things. They are so nasty. They are so low life. These bottom fears, they've been humiliated by the reality that they work for governmental entities with plenty of issue with pedophilia. A pedophilia issue that's so surreal that a whole bill was created for that. To be reactive, to react to the fact that there's so much child porn being trafficked. That's the year the prior year child protective service ranked this DOD and network as a top tier in regard to trafficking child porn they called this bill and national defense network abuse act you understand that? and what they hear now with mind that is you when you're a kid trash retard and so what they've been doing to try to make me think that a 13 14 year old is is it's almost an adult that this makes sense that you would try to have somebody's brain that that that's the the logic of what we're doing to you is making your brain be the brain of when you were a kid we mapped it to you as like when a kid as 13 14 year old this is stupidity they they are using this poor kid that's no longer with us that died that's 14 year old Ari young is a 14 year old kid that died from a mass shooting in october the mass shooter is a man called Robert Card. Robert Card was saying everything a target individual says. He's a target individual. This mass shooting was orchestrated by this low life. This man, this, this, the scariest part, the disgusting part is when you hear him talk to the police, saying everywhere I go, they say these disgusting pedophilia things. They say that I'm a pedophile, they do this and that. I go to different jobs, and they say the same thing. What you said, like what a lot of target individuals have said. And then at one point, he's like, you know what? The thing is, I'm capable. If this continues, I'm capable. He's literally saying that ex- you can, if you hear what he says and what this woman says, saying every, this is happening everywhere. They say some crazy stuff at my job. So this man is a target individual. Clearly, he killed 18 people. One of the 18 people he killed is a father and a son. The son is only 14 years old and the father died. Now this kid is a 14 year old kid that's way it's like a big kid just like a, his father you can see they're both big individual so he looks way bigger than his regular 14 year old he looks more like a 15 16 year old kid big kid so that they try to make me imagine you see you see 14 look look that's why and so because this kid looks bigger than an average child an average 14 year old child it looks closer to like a mid teenager than an early teen kid they try to say, you see at that age, you can you, you, you trash us. You're going to use the, the size of this dead kid to try to cut to the fact that they're so nasty. Why is a way for them is magical? They'll get a blessing that amazing. They, they get the blessing, the amazing blessing. This, this poor kid is dead. Now they try to use... This poor kid size, the fact that he's a bigger kid. If you look at this kid, you won't even give him, you would never give him 14. You think like it's like a 15, 16 year old kid. But he's only a 14 year old kid. He's a baby. Died. Bright future gone. Whoop. Long bright future gone. Because of what this trash do. And there'll be more like that. Now they're using this, this kid that's no longer with us. To try to make me accept this manipulation, to make me think that a 14 year old kid is like logically there. It, it, that is not developing. A 13, 14 year old kid. Whatever I did as a kid, I was like literally just turning 14 or just turned 14. So it was 13, 14. And just be like, nah, that's proved, you see. And so when I show these other kids, which look more like normal size, so there's one kid that's, that looks. I'm normally shorter than regular 13-year-old 13, 13 kid. Then I show a bunch of like 8th graders. 
and that's what this 13, 14 look like. And try to but like, nah, but you see, don't go go back to use this erring young kid because of his size, being the big kid that he was, that he was past tense is dead, cause died from mass shooting. That this target individual did, meaning he was being tormented to the point where he killed the eighteen people. This trash and low life, they, they they what they deserve is not on this earth. I'm telling you, target individual do not be even aggressive to this nasty trash. They get theirs. They get theirs. They talk about I'm gonna cry for. They are here making babies cry, torturing them. Sorry, baby. When I mean babies, I'm talking about seven year old autistic kid, screaming, crying, pain. And they are here cry for our trash ass, torturing four year old kids sexually. You know what these people deserve? To my target individual, see this trash for what they are, nasty, the bottom feeders. They, they, they think that I'm going to let them escape. You torture children. This is real. You, you involved in a program where children are being hurt, harmed, burned, sexually tortured. Then you try to play now pig crap for what you did as a middle school kid in 13, 14. And you try to make me think that this is like an old age to make me bring make me think of this erring young kid who just because he's big size makes him a, a, a older kid this is when he's just a 14 year old kid who just end up dead now because trash like you are pushing people to lose their mind and some people don't care anymore target individuals stay strong and see this little life where they are Yesterday was crazy. They were trying to make me think the average size, make me look at the average size of a 13, 14 year old kid, or an eighth grader, to try to make some like. So disgusting. To all my target individuals, stay strong. See this low up what they are. <laughs> See them for the trash that they are. Reality is what they try to reconstruct you because they know that they enjoy what they do. They get whatever incentive. I'm sure the financial as aspect of things are very good. We're talking about the Department of Defense. I mean, this is like a place where there's limitless funding. But even the incentives that are not financial, I'm sure that that alone can be very, very, very enjoyable. And they want to enjoy that by creating this fantasy what they're involved in. Start creating their story as if they're the one that, that are, are avenging, protecting children, trashing involved in a program that does these horrible things and even cause people to kill, even children, because they lose their money, shoot a whole place up, and don't care if there's a bunch of kids there. They come up with this fantasy what these people are, what, what this thing is about. Try to make them seems, believe that they're the one out here avenging. You, you no, know, people should be avenging for what you guys are involved in. You're the one involved in a program that is sexually torturing children. You're the one involved in, in a program where there's a bunch of women begging for help. Saying me and my young child are being tortured and we need your help. Then you come up with your storylines and try to find ways to be trash us. It's just opportunities. Target they just stay strong and see this life where they are. And understand justice will be done for the nasty things they've done to people. For the death, the torture, the destruction of lives all around the world. Stay strong.